You are just purring away. Look, thank you. You can go. Hey everyone, welcome back. I absolutely hate filming intros and outros. They are the most awkward thing on the planet, but today's video is a tutorial over this look right here. It's a very monochromatic, pink, dramatic look. I like it a lot better than I thought I would. Um, it's very pink, especially with my hair, but you know, it's kind of the vibe right now, if you get it. Um, but yes, today's video is a tutorial over this look right here. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Give us a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Excuse me, I'm a little um, out of it today. I did mess up my eyeliner over here. Um, so it's a little bit thicker than I would have liked, but here we are. I can't tell. If the camera is focusing or not, I don't think it is. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer. I haven't used this in a minute, you know, and I actually I'm gonna be zoomed in a little bit more, but it's like not wanting to focus. Um, this eyeliner is irritating the hell out of me. Um, I will probably go back in um, when I put the eyeliner on the other eye and even it out but the eyeliner is still wet on that side because I just put it on, so I just want to let it dry for a little bit before I smear it all around. I'm using an eyeliner that is almost gone. I'll mention it later, and you know, I'm trying to like finish it all up, and you guys know like when you're at the very end of an eyeliner and it's like a little patchy, <laughs> that's what happened. I have a bean right here, I have an olive in here, I have, um, several <laughs> cats just running around so if you hear them that is what's going on um beans actually up on the desk but that's nothing new so i'm going to take this today this is the morphe james charles i'm going to use this a little bit um more than i have been in the past in upcoming videos um just because this is the palette that you know has all, all of these shades and I just need to get more use out of this palette um, like I mentioned in uh, one of my other videos there's so many dupe options for this but this is what I'm using today it looks like this if you haven't seen it I don't even know if I can get it all in the frame um, so this is what I will be using just to get a little bit more use out of it because I don't really use it all that often and you know but I'm going to take the shade, I have to look at the name sheet because I don't remember what it's called. Pinkity Drinkity, which is this one right here. And I'm going to use it as my transition shade today. I'm doing a spotlight eye today, which is something I love to do, but I never really do it all that often. So I'm first starting out with a really dense blending brush and I'm going to create a halo eye with this. So I like to start out here. This shade is really, really light, um, but it makes it perfect for this look. So I'm gonna tap some on the outer edge of my eye and then bring it through the crease and then tap on the inner part as well, creating literally like a spotlight in the middle where there's gonna be no color. That's where we'll put the color later. This eyeliner is irritating me, but I will try my best to even it up you guys know how it is, but I'm gonna put lashes on. So typically after lashes are on, you can't really tell, but right now, right now I'm not a fan. The lighting looks a little funny, but like it's really true to color. So let's see, what happens if I brighten that? That's as bright as that light gets. So I think this is just what we're gonna be working with today. This is my first time using this palette. This is the ColourPop Ooh La La. It looks like this. Could you use just this palette? Probably. Um, <laughs> I mean, probably you could if you have this, but um, you know, I wanna use what I have. So I'm first gonna take the shade Poodle, which is this one. And I'm going to basically do the exact same thing we just did with Pinkity Drinkity, but I'm gonna have it a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. 
the shade Sandbar, which is this color right here. This is hot pink. I mean like hot pink. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Pick the shade, love that, from James Charles, which is the one right next to Pinkity Drinkity. It's this one right here. It's kind of like a darker pink with like a little bit of a purple hue to it. Um, I just wanted to deepen the look a little bit because I thought this was just a little too flat. It's still not very dimensional, the eyeshadow look isn't, um, but I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Um, you know, it's I'm trying to do different color combinations, different techniques, different styles, and different lip combinations. I've talked about this before with this specific set of tutorials for this album. So that's kind of why they're a little different. I mean, it's not huge, <laughs> um, but they are a little different um, if you haven't noticed. They're just slightly different from what I would normally do. Just trying to, you know, Band horizons that's kind of the whole purpose of my music and makeup series they are tutorials yes but they are tutorials that just help me kind of branch out with colors that's kind of how it all started with sweetener it was something to get me started into the world of color because I didn't really play with a lot of color back then I was really afraid of it so this was a really great way for me to kind of test the waters a little bit and this eyeliner is pissing me off, but um, it's kind of like the same thing. Just want to do different techniques, different styles, different color combinations. So today's look is going to be very pink, especially with my hair. It's going to be very, very pink. It's a monochromatic look, basically. Um, but, you know, like I always say, you can definitely tone it down or switch colors out if, you know, you don't wear pink or you don't want to wear a pink lip or you don't want to wear um, whatever you can just tone it down and swap it for something else now I'm gonna take a bigger brush and take pinkity drinkity again this is just to blend out our edges hi Mimi lean back another good boy eggs You're purring. Look, that's you. And please don't bite me. He's sniffing my face. What? What? This is Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benny. Eggs or Benny. I don't think he's been on YouTube yet. Would you stop? I don't think he's been on YouTube yet. Ouch. Stop it. No. He's touching my eyelashes. Hey, baby. Oh, you got something in your eye. Oh, this piece of cotton looks like. I got it. I got it. Look. Look back at the camera right now. We've had eggs um, since he was three weeks old. And my one of my sisters, one of her friends, found him. And of course, you know, he ended up in my house. And since he was so little, we had to bottle feed him. We had to, you know, stimulate him. We had to do all kind. I mean, it was round the clock work. Um, I'll talk about him a little later in probably a miniature zoo episode, but that's why you guys haven't really seen him, um, because we've had him a while now, he's eight weeks old now, but, um, he's been kind of kept off to the side because he was so small, he's still small, but now he's 
doing a lot better so he's out and about with the other cats and they love him so that's why you guys haven't really seen him much you've seen him on my instagram but um not on youtube now that we're done messing with the cats i'm gonna take this this is uh the color pop animal crossing super shock shadow in the shade balloon pop i chose this because i haven't really used it all that much and it is beautiful i mean it's stunning i really really like it so let me zoom out a little bit i feel like it's changing again um i'm just gonna take this on my finger and pack it on right in the center where that blank spot is this is our spotlight shade and it's beautiful i mean this shade is Stunning. Like, do you see that? When I turn my head, it is beautiful. Let me put a little bit more over here. And I really like it. I don't really wear it all that much, though, but I really like it. And then I'm going to take just some of the brushes. I'm not going to put any more product on them, but I'm just going to tap the edges. Here comes the part with the eyeliner that's almost up which I'm trying to finish. This is the Benefit, Benefit, did I say Benefit weird? Benefit Roller Liner, this is the liquid liner. I think next time I purchase this, I'm gonna purchase the full size because I keep repurchasing the little ones because I don't really wear liquid eyeliner all that much, but I keep using this one and I think it just would benefit me to buy um, a full size. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna try to even this guy out. If I can't, I'm wearing lashes today, so it won't be a huge deal, but it is irritating me probably more than it is irritating you so i'm going to do that real quick and then we'll come back together because i have to get out of frame to do this so i'll be right back it's not the best job but hey it's not the worst job i kind of fixed it i kind of got them to match the best i could um i think with eyeliner and every or with i think with lashes on and everything it'll be fine so now i'm going to take this, this is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. Even the packaging's pink. Um, I didn't actually plan that. I did plan for it to be like monochromatic a little bit. Um, Cause you guys know, Caitlin's helping me plan this round of music and makeup, which I'm really, really excited about. And you know, we talked about pink, obviously before I had pink hair. And I was like, I'm gonna make everything pink because she said pink eyeshadow and a pink lip, but I was like, what if I do pink blush and do like a monochromatic moment, you know? So, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so yes, I really like this moisturizer. It is also, it's technically I think a primer, um, but I'm using it mainly to moisturize today. And I'm gonna go on with a separate like primer in a minute the Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Champagne. I need to finish this up. It's almost gone. I just need to finish it. I need to just bite the bullet and finish it, but I haven't yet. So this is my way of trying to finish this up. It's really, really pretty. I really like uh, Laura Geller's primers. I've tried two or three of them, and I've liked both of them. I seem to like uh, Laura Geller's face products. I haven't been a fan of any mascaras that I've tried, but I have a lipstick by them that I really enjoy, and I really like this primer. My favorite bronzer is by Laura Geller. Before I do my foundation, I want to take this. This is the ColourPop Hello Kitty Lippy Scrub. This is Pineapple Pop. I don't know if this is still available. If it is, like always, I will have it linked down below. Now that our face is all prepped, I'm going to take the Kopari Lip Glossy. I have been obsessed with this. This is just the original one. I believe they have like tinted ones, but this is just the original clear one and I I'm in love with this. For foundation, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. This is in the shade 301 Classic Ivory. My camera is blinking at me because it's going to die. What is new over here? Nothing. Nothing. All right. 
Blend this bad boy out. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in the shade 320 Porcelain. Battery died, I've switched it, we're ready to go. I'm gonna take the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder today. I'm still testing this out. Um, you know, I said I wanted to give it a little bit more of a chance. And I do, it's quite messy to be honest, but I've been enjoying it. Um, it really does smooth out my fine lines under my eyes which so far it does what it's supposed to. So I don't know if NYC is still a brand. I used this in a video uh, that I filmed but I have not edited yet. So by the time this goes up, I'll probably know because <laughs> I'll have everything linked in the description box for that video. But as of right now, I have no idea. I don't like the feeling of tacky foundations and that foundation was really tacky. So I just set it. I'm looking very, very matte now. So, not a fan of that, but with highlighter and stuff, I think, I think we'll be okay. But, you know, full we'll beat today. Um, Let's go ahead and contour. I'm gonna take the Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 2, and I'm going to take Sculpting Powder, which is just the, I think it's the Sculpting Powder number two by Kevin Aquan. Okay, bronzer, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Cappuccino. For me, this is a very deep bronzer, so I'm just gonna take a very light amount of this. Tap, tap. <laughs> For blush, I'm gonna take the ColourPop Hello Kitty Island Shine Blush. This was like the brightest pink that I have. So that's why I chose this one today. Um, I do like this blush, but it's like the brightest pink that I have. I don't typically wear like really pink blushes. the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Palette. I'm gonna take the shade Oh Honey. It's the pink highlighter in here. I might mix it with something else, but for now, I'm gonna take just Oh Honey. I'm gonna go back into Ooh La La and I'm going to try to get it open. I'm first gonna take Poodle, which is that one, and put it on my lower. Somewhere I have a color switch. Here. I think Bean's laying on it. That darkest shade we used. I use the same mirror. For brows, I'm gonna take the All May Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Blonde. It's been a minute since I've used this on my channel. I'm gonna 
let's try this. I don't know what exactly like the undertone is in this shade, but I'm gonna take the shade Tickled, which is the lightest in this palette. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and my brow with that. I typically don't use shimmers on my brow, but I'm gonna try it today. Hopefully this isn't like glitter. Oh, it is. Okay, well that was a terrible idea. We'll just take our finger and like smooth it out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna make both sides match. Leave it out a little bit. And then I'm still gonna highlight my inner corner with it, but I'm gonna go in with something else. Over top the brow. I already put the James Charles palette away. I'm going to go in Coconuts by ColourPop. Um, it's like one of my most used palettes. It's just always close by. I'm gonna take the shredded shade from in there. Highlight my brow. Mascara, I'm gonna use the Benefit Bag Out Bang. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formula we. eyeshadow on your eye like on your eyebrow did you rub up on an eyebrow eyeshadow brush you weren't even in here when i was doing eyeshadow so i'm going to apply the sephora collection lash stories lash away uh false eyelashes i don't know if they have this specific style still but i know that they still make this line um they look like this they're just like dramatic i'm sorry about the light coming through the sun coming through the window i'm going to put these on really quick and i'll be right back flash is being weird like it's not it applied fine but it's like sitting weird you guys know what i'm talking about like when like a lash is sitting on your <laughs> now we are almost done i'm gonna take the illuminati cosmetics gel paint up electric pink Eyeliner, put that in my waterline. I'm gonna take this. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm still testing this out. I don't really have an opinion on it yet. Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Hot Pink. I'm gonna line my lips. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Oh My Dolly. It is a hot pink. All right, everybody, and that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit today. And as always, if this is a little too much for you, of course, tone it down, switch out lip colors, switch out colors, tag me in your pictures, um, do all that fun stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe before you leave. Help me to go 1,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys in my next video.